Hello, morning, my most of viewers. My name is Holly, the founder. And as you guys know, this lovely program is called Morning Mimosas, where we value human life, criminal justice, healing, and educating for the black and minority communities with a note that we love all people. Guys, today's episode is going to be another personal one from me. Um, I... have completely given up on on any hopes of um, love, relationships, anything like that. I don't think that that is for me anymore. And I think I have finally accepted it. Even though I just finished crying about it, right? But... Uh, this episode will be more so, I don't know if I'll be educating or just being vulnerable. Like I said, it's really hard being this woman that has all these things going for her and I'm not the, I'm not the least bit uh, attractive or sought out. I um guys, when I say I'm so tired of being treated like a doormat, it, it, I'm I'm tired. Like I just I sit here and I ask myself, why don't I deserve love? Why don't I deserve a healthy relationship? Why don't I deserve all these things that I see everybody else get? But it's just reality check, Holly. You don't deserve those things, right? <sighs> Y'all, it is a really hard pill to swallow. Knowing that you deserve... wonderful things in life but you don't think you're ever going to have them I just I watch people be in these relationships for years and then be genuinely happy and I ask myself Lord why why am I not allowed to have that why was I stuck with a husband who was very unaffectionate towards me and his excuse was I was never taught affection well my nigga neither was I you know (sighs) guys it's just really really hurtful when you're yearning for something that you know is not gonna happen for you you sit by and you watch everybody else have it and (sighs) you know I just I just I have I have concerns I have, I have huge concerns, I feel like, that's just not meant for me, I just feel like I'm gonna be a detective who solves cases and gets families justice, which I will love, that's a part of my passion, but that's all I'll be good for is being a criminal justice agent, you know, getting justice for people and no justice for me. You know, I'm just watching everybody like cutely build their little families and everything else. And I'm like, when is it going to be my turn to have that? (laughs) Guys, when I say that, it's really, really sad that I feel this way. (laughs) Like, it's really, really sad. Like, I, I honestly thought... That that man that I started liking recently, like, started having more feelings for recently, I thought he would save me for some reason. I don't know. But I knew better. I knew better than to think anybody would want to deal with me full time. (sighs) 
I just, you know, sometimes I just sit here and I wonder, like, why? Why am I not enough? Why am I not enough, guys? Like, why is it that I, I do all these great things for the community? I've been nominated. I've won. And I'm still doing a lot of great things that I'm being recognized for, but yet... Emptiness. And I don't really care how this this makes me look, honestly, because this is my vulnerability. And then you guys know, like, hey, because I've been abused so much, I... I I just want to know what it's like for someone to actually, like, care about me and, you know, love me and be there and, you know, we we pray together, we, you know, be like this, you know, happy couple together and I don't know why everybody's allowed to have that except me. (laughs) Being divorced is very, very depressing, although... I'm the one that initiated the divorce because I wasn't being loved right. So I am starting to have guilt for leaving a relationship that didn't serve me because I'm depressed now. I don't have a marriage title and now I'm just a, a divorced single mother. And who's in, I mean, people would barely wanted me then. Like they're really not gonna want my ass now. So it's like. Why doesn't anyone want me? Why am I only good for sex? Why don't men see me for who I am, which is a good person, a good mother, someone who prays, someone who loves? I just don't understand why I just don't understand why I'm not worth it why am I not worth a damn like like I see and I think another thing that's affected my judgment is seeing people on social media be all lovey-dovey and you know just seeing all these like beautiful love posts and just knowing that that's not gonna happen for me and another thing I know is true desperation is gonna kill me Desperation is going to kill me because I want to be loved so bad. And I know people are going to say, hey, what about loving yourself? I'm like, it's not about that. It's about the unknown. It's about the wondering. You know, it's about the yearning. It's about the Damn, why doesn't anyone love Holly's ass? But hey guys, um, I'm gonna get out of here. This episode was very emotionally charged. And I'm not really like in the best place, but I had to let you guys know how I'm feeling. because I know that although I'm upset right now I know that someone will hear this and maybe understand how I feel (sighs) but 
tell you guys this is the very vulnerable morning mimosas host Holly we value human life criminal justice healing which I hope to do soon and educating for the black and minority communities with a note that we love everyone pray for me guys